Okay, now that you've checked your answers to your mole review, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the mole today um, and add one more little spoke to your mole wheel. And this has to do with volume. We've got information about the mass of one mole. We have the information about how many atoms or molecules are in one mole. But what if we have a mole, what would its volume be? Well, notice our discussion here is only going to apply to things that are gases. So let's say that I had a balloon filled with helium gas inside of it, and if I had one mole of helium, well, I wonder what its volume would be. Well, first of all, we might want to think a little review here. All right, how many atoms do we have? If it's one mole, everybody all together here, let me hear you. There are, yeah, very good, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium that are in that balloon right now. Okay, so keep in mind, we're going to keep one mole. We're going to keep that same number of atoms in this balloon the whole time. Okay, now if I have that many atoms of helium in the balloon, the volume is going to be 22.4 liters. However, the volume is not always going to be 22.4 liters. There's one little caveat that goes with this. That is only true if my balloon is at 0 degrees Celsius and 760 millimeters of mercury. You'll remember that millimeters of mercury is a unit of air pressure, and that 760 is standard air pressure. It's the same thing as one atmosphere. So under those conditions, if I have one mole of helium, it is going to be 22.4 liters. In fact, those conditions are what are known as standard temperature and pressure, 0 degrees Celsius and 760 millimeters of mercury, or that's known as STP for short. So if I have my one mole of helium at STP, its volume is going to be 22.4 liters. Now just to get some idea of the size of this thing, uh, you can look around the room and there is a black cube made of wood that says 22.4 liters. Uh, it probably is up above the cabinet above table number three in the back, unless Mr. Kurowski has moved it and put it somewhere else. Um, but that actually is 22.4 liters, just to give you some idea of the size. So one mole of helium, that's how big my balloon would be. Now if I had one mole of CH4, hopefully you recognize that as one of your hydrocarbons, that's methane. If I had one mole of that at STP, guess what its volume would be? You guessed it, 22.4 liters. Now what if I had one mole of nitrogen molecules in that balloon at STP? Well, guess what its volume would be? Yep, you guessed it, 22.4 liters. In fact, that statement is true of any gas. As long as it is at STP, its volume is 22.4 liters. Now we have STP because the volume of a gas depends on those two things. It not only depends on how many molecules or particles there are, but it also depends on what the temperature of that gas is and what the pressure of that gas is. You'll remember from our um, units, I guess it was unit two discussion, that those things will change the, um, the volume of the gas. For example, if I have my one mole of chlorine, well, if it's at STP, what's the volume? You got it, 22.4 liters. However, again, that's only true at STP. If we change either the temperature or the pressure, the volume will change. So let's add a little heat here. And of course, you knew it was going to happen. My balloon got bigger. Now notice there is still one mole of chlorine molecules in there. There's still 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of chlorine in there. However, now you see, of course, my volume is bigger than 22.4 liters. Now if we let it cool back down to standard temperature and pressure, we see once again we're back to 22.4 liters and it's about Christmas time so let's uh, cool this guy down here of course even though I still have my one mole and I still have my 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules now since it is at lower than standard temperature my volume is less than 22.4 liters so all that to say that uh, my temperature and pressure have to be standard conditions in order for our statement that one mole has to be 22 point. So now if we look at our mole wheel, 
this should look pretty familiar. In fact, if you want, you can get out your Unit 3 packet and uh, go to where you have this at the beginning. And you'll notice we have one extra spoke that's on our mole wheel, and that is for volume. Now, again, a warning here. You can only use this new relationship if the substance you're talking about is a gas. Do not use this for liquids. Don't tell me that liquid water has a volume of 22.4 liters. That is not true. Okay, That's only true for gases, and only if they're at STP, we can say that one mole is going to be 22.4 liters. So now we have a new relationship on our little mole wheel, so we can um, add a slightly different type of more uh, problems to our mix. So we could answer a question such as this. Let's say we have a balloon. It's got helium in it, and it has 1.67 grams of helium. I want to know, well, how big would that balloon be? What would its volume be? At STP, of course. So in this case, if we look at this problem, the known information is 1.67 grams of helium. So we're going to do it really just like we've done the rest of our mole problems. There's our little mole wheel with its new spoke at the bottom. So we take a look at it, and we look at, well, you know, where are we starting? In this case, I know the mass of the helium that's in that balloon. And we always look to see, well, what are we trying to find? And in this case, we're trying to determine the volume of that gas at STP. So you can see this is going to be a two-step problem. And so we'll have our two sets of parentheses. So our first step, of course, is our no-brainer step. We're starting with grams, so automatically I put my units in. Again, notice I'm going to be putting my units in first. I'm not even worrying about the numbers yet. We'll fill those in last. So grams goes on the bottom. Now, looking back at our mole wheel, we see in our first step, we go to moles next. So I'm going to put moles of helium up on top. Then, of course, no-brainer part two. We're going to put moles of helium on the bottom. And then going back to our mole wheel, our question's asking us what the volume of this gas is. And so in our last step, we're going to go up to our volume. And liters, of course, is the unit that we'll be using for volume. And so we have our units all set up. Now we just have to pop our numbers in. Okay, and that first step. That's an old relationship there. We already know that one mole of anything, we want to know the mass. So we should be looking at the periodic table whenever we're going from mass to moles. And we look up helium, and it's 4.003. And then the last step, this is, of course, our new relationship. Since it is at STP, we can say that one mole of our helium will have a volume of, I hope everyone said that out real loud, 22.4 liters. And so from there on, it's just a matter of plugging that into our calculator. We should have three sig figs on our final answer. And so we get 9.34 liters of helium. OK, now it's time for you to try one on your own. So on your piece of paper, piece of scratch paper that you have there, go ahead and work this out. And when most of you are done, you can go ahead and click to get your answer to check it. OK, let's see how you did. In this case, we're starting with 750 milliliters. Now, of course, if we're looking ahead, we know that our volume relationship is in liters. So I just converted 750 milliliters, of course, divided by 1,000, so that I have 0.75 liters. Notice that 0 at the end is not significant, so I only have two sig figs on that. So I kept two sig figs when I converted it. In this case, we, um, we know the volume first. And the question is asking me how many molecules I have. So again, this is going to be a two-step problem. And so I just look at my mole wheel there. And the first thing I need to do is do my no-brainer step, liters of methane on the bottom. We want to go to moles in our next step. So moles goes on top. Again, put moles in the bottom, no-brainer part two. And then finally, we want to go to molecules of methane on top. Notice the abbreviations, moles is M-O-L and molecules is M-O-L-E-C. Of course, we have to put our numbers in. In the first step, we've got one mole. And it does tell us that it is at STP. So we can say that our volume of one mole, methane, is a gas. And so if you had one mole of methane in a bubble in your hand, we could light that. That would be kind of a big bubble there, because um, it would be 22.4 liters. And then in the next step, one mole goes on the bottom, and we just want to answer, well, how many molecules of methane are in one mole? And of course, that one is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So hopefully you had that written down. You punch that in your calculator. If you remember how to do the scientific notation properly, you're just using that EE button. You should have come up with 2.02 .02 
times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Uh, in fact, if we look at our sig figs here, we actually should have just 2.0 times 10 to the 23rd um, because that 750 only has two. And hopefully you were successful at answering that question.